<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, suck it. Hey everybody, Sean Mayo here. Um, so I had a question on this book. Um, the book doesn't matter, but the um, the question does. So uh, the question is, if I can buy this book for about $12, uh, Amazon's selling it for 126 and there's a newer edition available, uh, should you buy the book? And there's also 339 used in new listings. So when you're evaluating a book, uh, one of the more important things to be looking at is uh, how much it is actually selling for and which ones are selling. It can be sometimes hard. But when we look at uh, the used here, it says from one cent. So uh, these are what you call penny books. And that's because people are selling for a penny. They don't cost a penny. You still have to pay three ninety nine shipping, merchant fulfilled, so it's actually a four dollar book. So that's why uh, FBA you should never sell for under four dollars. Um, not only are you only going to make a few cents on it, but uh, when your competition sells it for a penny, uh, they're actually selling it for four dollars. Uh, now we can look at a couple things here. We should look and see um, since there's three hundred thirty nine um, sellers on this we should actually see what the FBA price is, because even though this is a penny, the cheapest one on FBA could be 40 or $50. It's not in this case, but, um, you know, it's very possible and happens all the time. <clears throat> so uh, the main thing um, I look at is Keepa. Uh, what, and the way Keepa works, and we have a whole course on my website, seanmail.com, uh, completely free, um, with dozens of videos showing you every aspect to read Keepa. And I have the Keepa extension installed in my browser, so it puts it right in the uh, in the Amazon page. Uh, so currently we're looking at a month back, but you can look day, week, you know, three months, year, all time that it's been tracked, uh, which is 2,048 days. So, um, and you can also do, um, you know, a, a specific date range. Uh, so we're going to look at the last months here, and the way Keepa and every other price tracker works, uh, Amazon doesn't release the, the pricing information. What happens is it's constantly going uh, back. You know, sometimes once a week, sometimes you know multiple times an hour, depending on how fast of a seller this product is. Um, you know, will show how often they're going to go and check. Uh, so, as you can see here, the rank uh, at the top is a million, down to zero at the bottom. Uh, so, every time we see a drop in rank, there's only one way their rank can go down, and that's with a sale. So, we can see uh, here at this point, there was a sale, and at this point, there was a sale. Uh, now, if we look at the actual rank right now, it's 889,000, uh, and here, um, it's 889. Uh, it's still 889, so that means in the last month we probably only had about two sales. You might want to be able to say that there were three um, because the rank was so low, uh, you know, one month ago. Uh, it, it stands to reason by looking at um, the other two sales over the month, um, it's pretty close to the bottom spot. So we could say in the last month it had three sales. <coughs> um, so now, uh, now we know what the sales are. We can look at the statistics and see what the all-time lowest rank was, which was August 5th, 2016, uh, which was right around the back-to-school time, which is going to tell you that uh, th these are still being used. Just because there's a newer version doesn't mean that uh, a book is not being sold. Uh, but what it does mean, um, you know, is that that newer version is available and the bigger universities may be using it, but smaller ones um, may not be using it yet. And having such a low rank, especially in books, that um, I would guess that a lot of schools are still using this older version. <clears throat> um, 
the current rank uh, right now uh, is 889,000, which we know. Uh, the highest rank was 1.08 million, which uh, tells us we're a lot closer to the highest ever rank than the lowest. Um, and the average is about 500,000. <clears> um, you know, we can see what Amazon sells it for, the lowest, the current, and the highest price, which isn't much of a difference. Um, so now if we go, we can actually turn on and off Amazon, and you can see Amazon never sells out of this book. Um, well, I guess they do sometimes, but uh, they haven't sold out since um, September last year. So if we go back up here now and look at, we can look at new, used, and collectible. So if we're going to look at all 339, uh, 339 different sellers, uh, and we see there's a ton of Merchant Fulfilled sellers selling at a penny, like I said, one cent plus three ninety nine shipping. Um, we see that the book's only selling for four ninety nine, so definitely not worth flipping for Amazon. Uh, there's a few at that price, and they go up from there, $6, $7. But again, uh, definitely not worth selling because there's tons of competition on FBA um, that you're not going to be able to make any money. If you're paying $4, you have to pay shipping and time to prep. Um, definitely not worth buying.